Hey everyone, I am Kate Volman. I'm the CEO of Floyd Consulting. We have the pleasure of working with organizations to help them build dynamic cultures so people love coming to work and accomplishing great things together. I am so excited because today I get to introduce you to one of our amazing clients, Audrey Russell. She is the Director of Dream Management at Wildman and we love working with them and I'm so excited to introduce you to her and talk about the dream manager program that they've implemented into their organization. So Audrey, thank you so much for being here today. We so appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Kate, for inviting. So today, before we get into the whole topic of dream manager, and I'm so excited because you guys have just taken this program and run with it and just made such an impact in the lives of your people. But before we get into that, why don't you share with everyone a little bit about Wildman, what the company does, how many employees you have, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, um, Wildman is a company, it is a actually a laundry, an industrial laundry and it is a third generation laundry held by um, in a family owned business here in our community. Uh, it has been a staple of our community for over 50 years. And it's just been an amazing um, company that works with individuals. They sell products and deliver products to companies throughout Northeast Indiana and even into Southern Indiana and um, venturing at some point into um, Kentucky and Tennessee. We're, we're growing. We have about 270 employees um, and we, we are one big family here. Yes, I love that. And I love the fact that it's family owned and the leadership of the organization is truly remarkable in the way that they value their people and their team. And you can obviously see that by any organization that has a title like yours is definitely cares about their people. And, um, and so you are a certified dream manager. You had, uh, decided the leadership team had decided to reach out to Floyd to get certified as a dream manager. So kind of walk through that process. What was that conversation like with the CEO and the, the leadership team? I know Josh over there is just such an incredible leader. You have such great leadership over there. Um, Josh and Matt and, and everyone else on the team uh, would love to hear how that conversation started and why you decided to get certified to become a dream manager. Okay. Well, uh, it's been it's been a journey for us here at Wildman. Um, we have always wanted to pour into our employees um, and do more than just have them come to work and um, then go home. Um, it's always been what can we do to invest in our employees and what can we do to um, make a difference. When I was first interviewed um, with Wildman Business Group back in 2014, um, actually, as I was sitting in the interview, I um, had listened to Josh explain some of the things that they were doing for the employees. And I actually turned to him and I said, have you ever read the book, The Dream Manager? And he looks at me and he says, that's where a lot of these ideas have come from. And I was astounded at that. And I was so excited at the same time. And then it's like I said, it's been a journey, but seven years later, they approached me because they did hire me to be the director of HR. And then they um, asked if I would be interested in being the dream manager here at Wildman and carrying that culture um, throughout our organization. Because we're growing, um, we wanted to make sure that we maintain the culture that we've developed and um, that we've grown to love. And we didn't want to lose that as we grow. So the dream manager seemed like a perfect fit for us. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That, see, don't I... There are no accidents, right? Like you were meant to be there and meant to lead this program in that organization. And I so appreciate uh, the vision of, of Josh and the fact that when, when any leader comes from a place of 
pouring into their people and really helping their people. I mean, that's, these are the kinds of organizations that we love and we hear about all the time, right? Because they are doing so much for their people. And when they're doing that much for their people, obviously the company, the organization is going to be a success because people are showing up at work differently. They're engaged, they're inspired, they're empowered. And, and you get to lead that, which is so incredible. It's amazing. You know, Kate, I'll just interrupt you there. I just have to say, I went out to the production floor just yesterday. We've had a snowstorm in Northeast Indiana. We have 10 feet of snow. And I walked out and I said, how many people didn't make it to work? And there was only one person that arrived late and everyone on the production floor made it to work. And, you know, perfect opportunity for people to say, I can't get out, you know, and they're committed just as much as Wildman is committed to them. And it's just amazing to see that. Ah, that's awesome. All right. So give a, share a little bit of insight into you, you went to, through the certification. Can you just kind of share overview what the certification was like um, in preparing you, especially now you've been doing the program for, I think about a year now, correct? Mm -hmm. So you've, correct. Been doing, correct. you've been doing it for a year. So kind of in hindsight, share with people that, that experience of going through certification and how it sets you up to be able to roll out this kind of program in the organization. Um, you know, I went to um, the training for the certification in um, January of 2020, um, and, and it was amazing, the training that I went through. I sat there, though, and had lots of questions. I think I was probably the one asking the most questions during the training, um, and just inquisitive about what this process looked like, what it was going to um how it was going to evolve and develop. And then I get back to Wildman and um, I'm tasked with doing the program and I'm like, oh, how am I gonna do this? But the wonderful thing is, is um, Floyd Consulting has everything laid out for you. They have the curriculum and everything. And so it was just really a seamless process to get started um, with the dream manager. I was still doing HR at the time and uh, management came to me and said, you know what, we, we wanted you to do, be half HR, half dream manager, but we recognize that in order to get this program up and running the way we want it, you need to go full time into this. And so that was a hard choice for me at first, I will say. And when I said, you know what, you're, you're exactly right. And here you go. You can have all of HR. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and I could do dream management full time. Uh, it has been not only life changing for our employees, but it's been life changing for me as a person as well. Um, just to be able to sit down with people and to get them excited about life to believe that this is a job I get paid to do is just amazing. Um, we started um, with, in June, they set a goal that they wanted me to have 75 people enrolled in dream management by September of 2021. By January or by December of 2021, I have 80 people in the program. <laughs> It is so amazing. And when I say something to individuals about the dream manager program, and I ask them, why haven't you started doing the dream manager program? They look at me and say, because you simply haven't asked me yet. Oh, wow. And I'm just like, wow, it's just amazing. That is so incredible. And first of all, Audrey, could you be the more perfect, a more perfect dream manager? Like you, the excitement that you have and the passion that you have, even in talking about it is intoxicating. And I could see you being such a light for the people that you work with and such an inspiration. And I love the fact that people jumped on board. You know, we get a lot of questions from people saying, well, what if, what if individuals don't want to participate in the program? And, and as we tell everyone, trust the process, right? Like you get that first few people that start doing it and then they start really loving it. And what happens when they love it? What do we do about the things, things that we experience that we really love? We talk about it with our friends and our coworkers. And so um, that stuff just happens organically. And so I'm so, 
I'm so excited for you and the organization. And that is so many dreamers that you have. So let's talk about those dreamers and the impact that it's had on their lives and the lot and the life of, uh, of Wildman as a whole, as an organization. So we'd love to hear some of this, of, of the, of the benefits that you've received since implementing the program. You know, uh, when, when I think about the benefits, I think about all of the things that employees have um, experienced since this has started. And it's nothing that we've done. It's everything that they have done for themselves, which is the coolest part of this. I've had people say, well, if I start the dream manager program, what are you going to do to help me? And my simple word is I'm here to support and hold you accountable. And they still join in and they're making so much progress. We've had people that have um, wanted to fly planes and they've flown a plane. They wow. went to flight school and got to fly a plane. So amazing. And it wasn't just one person, it was another person that joined in with her when she heard the story and said, I want to do this too. And so um, now one of them has become a member of the flight school even. So that has been really cool. We've had individuals um, speaking um, other languages fluently now um, because they wanted to learn Spanish and they wanted to be conversational. They're a year from that conversational part, but every week they have someone walking beside them, teaching them Spanish and so that they can speak and pour into our Hispanic population that we have here at the company. Um, I have individuals who are getting certifications in their field of study. Um, one individual was going to get a significant raise and he just simply wasn't finishing the certification. I said, what's holding you back? And he said, I don't know. I said, well, we're, I'm going to hold you accountable and you're going to get this done. He got a 35% increase in his pay when he completed this. And wow. he was excited about it. It was just like so cool. And it wasn't anything I did other than saying, let's get started on this. Um, we've had individuals who have increased their family time. We've had individuals who've started working on their um, mental health. Um, it, was, it was a huge need for them and they have just opened, the doors have opened and they're starting to really heal in places that they never thought was even possible. Um, I've had an individual that sat with me and I was sharing with them a story and they looked at me and said, I'm afraid to dream. And I said, why? Let's talk about that. And let's talk about the simplest dream you have and what that would look like and what that would do for you. And we've talked about that and they're well on their way to accomplishing that dream. That is amazing. Oh. I am just so excited. Okay. There's so much goodness that you just shared two things. One, I just, I, I, I adore the passion that you have for being able to help your people. I love that you flipped the switch on support and you are now, you empower people. So you take that, that entitlement that, that kind of entitlement mentality and you flip it into that empowerment. That is a gift. That is a gift that not only dream managers, every single person has this ability to help people dream again, mm -hmm. to help them realize what it is that they want for their lives. And one of the things as you're talking, Audrey, that I, that I just jotted down was simplicity. The simplicity of these dreams, right? Like sometimes people think, oh, I have to dream big. I have to run a company or I need to make a million dollars or whatever this is. These are things like spending more time with your family learning how to fly, which is something that they wanted to do for a while, getting an increase in pay, like, because you got a certification. First of all, how incredible did this person feel having to do the work it takes to get the certification, then to get the certification and that and get that kind of reward for it. So these are things that every single one of us have dreams, big, small, and everything, everything in between. And when we give them the gift, of inspiring them and empowering them to go after their dreams and they actually achieve it. I mean, the energy that is coming from you and all these 87 people, 
that is just all of those people have that same energy and drive for their life. So, so how, what does that mean for the organization? You know, you, you can't even put a price on what's happening um, in our organization because the lives that are being changed, um, Wildman set out this year and their new um, vision that they put out was change lives. And that is exactly what's happening with this program. People are changing their lives and some of them aren't even realizing it at this point. It's happening naturally and it has just been phenomenal. We have people that have purchased homes. We have an individual who purchased a home, told me that four years ago, um, they were expecting, they didn't have a vehicle and they had to walk everywhere. They went through financial peace. They started dream management. They purchased a home. And now they are wanting, they had a home. They had a trailer that they were living in. They want to give that trailer away. They don't want any money for it or anything. So it's not only teaching them what they can do for themselves, but it's also then inspiring them to help others. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Absolutely changing lives. I love that that is the new vision. Again, a testament to the leadership over there at Wild Men and what you are all doing. Um, one of the most exciting things now is, so you have, you have so many dreamers and you can't take anymore because you just are, your plate is completely full. And so we're so excited to hear that you just hired a new dream manager. So they are going to be coming to our next certification to get certified. Um, so tell us about that and kind of that vision for continuing dream manager and some of the things that you're planning to do with your, with your team this year. Oh, uh, I, we're so excited. Our goal shifted um, because we were able to get so many dream managers on right away that our goal sh has shifted that we would like to see 150 dreamers by September of 2021. Well, in reality, we needed to hire another dream manager to make that happen. So we were able to look internally and it was, it was so much fun going through that process. And there was one individual that I had thought of. And then the CEO said, what about this person? I'm like, I just thought of that person as well. And so that person accepted the role of dream manager and will be starting in April after she gets her certification. So we are so excited about that because she also embodies and is so engaged in what is happening here at Wildman. Oh my gosh. I love it. Love it. Love it so much. People like are your, the lives of your people coming to work and in, in, encouraging them, engaging them to go after their dreams. They do that for themselves. They come into work, they show up differently. They show up for the leadership team differently. And as leaders, that is our responsibility. It is our responsibility to grow our teams, to grow our people. And this is the most incredible way to do that. And I absolutely love everything that you guys are doing over there. We love being involved in the organization for though, and we love being able to support you in any way. I mean, just so incredible. I'm so excited to see what happens this year, next year and beyond for those that are listening and thinking, all right, that like a leader's thinking, because there's a lot of different, there's a lot of different programs and things out there that as far as like employee engagement and things like that. So tell us um, what you would say to someone that's, that's really wanting to feed into their people, grow their people, to create a great culture, to build their people, but also the organization. Um, tell us what would you say to someone kind of contemplating what way to go and, and thinking about becoming a, a certified dream manager? Uh, I, I would say step in and step in with both feet. Don't be afraid to do it. Um, it has been life changing, not only for our employees, but also our, our executive leadership team, our board. It has been life changing. We have board members now who are saying to us, I want to do this in my company. And that is so exciting. And it's not only exciting, but it's inspiring to know that what we're doing can be so contagious that others want to start doing it. And so if you're thinking about it, if you've thought about it, 
don't wait any longer. The time is, is now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. Contagious. Yes. Dreaming is contagious. When we help other people dream and achieve their dreams, then everything just falls into place. Everyone becomes more engaged, excited. I mean, really, that's what it's about, right? I mean, we're at work so many hours throughout the day. If we can be excited and engaged in our work life, become more excited and engaged in our personal life, we get that, that satisfaction in life that, that Matthew Kelly talks about in so many of his books, Off Balance, Dream Manager, Culture Solution, getting to that place of that work-life satisfaction and feeling so satisfied. And so I so appreciate Audrey, you spending some time with me today and, and sharing your story. It's such an incredible one. Um, over at Floyd, we, we talk about you all the time because we're just so uh, impressed with you being able to roll out dream manager, the way in which you did the leadership team and the support that you get over there. And just all of the dreams that are being achieved from your people is such a testament to you as a dream manager and your people and the growth and development of your people. And we're just so proud of them and all of the dreams and really looking forward to seeing what you do over the next couple of years. And of course, we are always here to support you and, uh, and love the work that you're doing. Well, Kate, thank you. And we love the support that you guys continue to provide to us. I know that you're a phone call away if I have questions. And that has been amazing too, because the support doesn't stop. And so thank you for that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again. And for those of you that are watching this, um, thank you so much for listening. We hope if you have any questions about the dream manager, culture solution, any of the things that we do over at Floyd to help serve you to, like Audrey said, feed into your people, grow your people. We would love to hear from you. This is, this is the stuff we live for. We want to help your people dream. We want to help you achieve your personal and professional dreams. And we look forward to hearing from some of you. We will see you soon. Take care. <laughs>